Good morning. Becky Jack here with a cup of joe with Jack and a reading of Scorpio 24. Crowds coming down a mountain to listen to one man. Uh, this writing is particularly interesting as we read through it um, due to the fact that yesterday I, I had had something on my mind for a little while and yesterday was the day that it culminated in my recording of my work throughout the day in various part uh, video portions. Anyway, so um, this will be the very final step the next morning of recording my cup of joe with Jack on Scorpio 24. And I uh, will mention to those who watch that or who have already listened to that and followed along that the reason this becomes very interesting is because of the twist we gave to the Hierophant card by a reading of Dane Rudyard's uh, interpretation for Scorpio 20, a woman drawing two dark curtains aside. So we listen with an attentive ear to what my writing has to say about Scorpio 24 with this picture of the Hierophant card on it from the tarot, which is number five. And um, on top of it are overlaid the words, do your part so that we may do ours. The Hierophant, the span of appreciation, the second hemisphere of Scorpio, phase 234, water element fixed. The formula is sustaining, ideal, universal, generalizing, social, responsible. Dr. Mark Edmund Jones provides the official meaning of this Sabian symbol in his work, The Sabian Symbols in Astrology. Scorpio 24, crowds coming down the mountain to listen to one man. This is a symbol of recognition for intellectual attainment and of the supremacy of spiritual over other and more tangible forms of authority among men. There is here an emphasis on the fact that any higher realization must be brought to earth, both for its initial confirmation and its ultimate sharing among the many, and that aspiration is meaningless until it achieves some practical focus in those realms and events with which people in general are familiar. The key word is appeal. When positive, the degree is an almost spectacular ability to enlist the higher potentialities of everyone for some practical need of the moment, and when negative, indiscriminate and carefree gullibility. My link that I chose for this is I See Fire, and I'm really going to enjoy listening to that. It is such an inspiring music from Lord of the Rings. Anyway, here we go. The Hierophant. The High Priest, or Hierophant, also called spiritual father. He is the ruling power of external religion. The Hierophant is the power of the keys, exoteric orthodox doctrine, and the outer side of the life which leads to the doctrine. Channel of Grace. He is rather the summa totius theologiae, when it has passed into the utmost rigidity of expression. He symbolizes also all things that are righteous and sacred on the manifest side. He is the channel of grace belonging to the world of institution as distinct from that of nature. He is the leader of salvation for the human race at large. He is the order and the head of the recognized hierarchy, which is the reflection of another and greater hierarchic order. He perhaps forgets the significance his symbolic state and acts as if he contained within his proper measures all that his sign signifies or his symbol seeks to shew forth. Let us go down. May we never forget our own symbolism and begin to think that we are that power which in fact we have only been given the temporal opportunity to use in this lifetime for service to all. A mere reflection of that higher power Yet, let us not shy away from our challenge either, to use our inherited and bestowed power with wisdom. 
This is the challenge of the Hierophant. Traverse your own narrow way. Namaste, Sajin. Now, I'm going to read to you as well the twist that we gave it yesterday by a reading. <clears throat> of course, I don't have everything memorized, but because it was Scorpio 20, it was recently in my mind. And so as a result of that, I was able to draw the significance and pull it out. I'm doing that right now. I'm sorry. It's going to take me a second here. I'll just keep talking. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I believe that it's going to be in this one. I'm looking for a binder, by the way. Okay, I'm pulling it out. And it's Scorpio 20. Thank heavens these are all numerically tabbed. Opening up to Scorpio 20. <coughs> all the way back there and pulling out the page or I can just open it and read from here. All right, so now we're flashing over to Scorpio 20 from Dane Rudyard. Phase 230, Scorpio 20. A woman draws away two dark curtains closing the entrance to a sacred pathway. Keynote, the revelation to the human consciousness of what lies beyond dualistic knowledge. The woman within that's in quotes the woman within the faith that is rooted in the deepest intuitions of the soul is seen here as the hierophant unveiling the realities which the either or pro and con mind of man alone cannot perceive the path to the mystic's unitive life is opened up once the darkness of Fear, egocentricity, and dualistic morality is removed. He goes on to say, this is the last symbol of the 46th five-fold sequence. It reveals what a positive reliance upon faith and intuition can bring about. Courage is needed to go through the veiling darkness, the courage to venture beyond the familiar and the traditionally known to, and here's his keywords, key phrase, and to plunge ahead into the unknown. So I just, I wanted to read that because my writing was all about the hierophant as traditionally known as male. Dane Ridger, a great master in astrology, <clears throat> as well as in symbology. Um, takes it to the feminine side. And so yesterday during our recordings, my recordings to share, uh, it's a, a one it was a one-time thing, a one-time thing because I'm opening a Rumble channel. I already did, it's called Always Today where I will upload all of the recordings I've done over time regarding the Sabian symbols. And in that recording of my work yesterday to show how I do my work, what goes into the making of a packet that will be for sale. Um, it will be inexpensive, but the point being that I finally have brought my work to a point where I can offer it now in template forms, in packets to the public for them to study their own Sabian symbols, whether their solar degree, any of their planetary degrees, the other luminary, the moon, whatever they want. They can order a packet of information that will have everything from the cross, the star, the tarot, the septenary, the enneagram, the time portal work, the dodecahedron, I am Sabian geometry, my, 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 my public name that my writing goes by is Sajin. I have a book, 2009, when I first began this particular work, well, it actually began in 2006, but three years later, I came out with my book on the shoulders of giants, advanced techniques in Sabian symbology. That book has always been available for sale on Amazon, though I did not promote or market it. it I gave it life and I went on with my studies. And now I have this packeted information regarding all the various geometric models the Enneagram, I mean, that's one word. That's the Tesla work. 
that's that's the Tesla work, the key. And it will remove the time and space element so that you can read the essence of a day. There is an amazing amount of work in here. And so yesterday when we read the Hierophant, I changed it to crowds coming down the mountain to listen to one woman. And this is my life's work and I'm now going to be sharing it in its fullness to this point. The only other thing I want to venture on and do is shadow work, but that will be at a later time. I am not in a rush to do that, but I, it is time to share the work that I do have. So I will um, leave this with you. I will be back again tomorrow with a recording of Scorpio 25. This is Becky Jack, a.k.a. Sajin, and uh, I will talk with you soon. Bye-bye for now.